Welcome back from that short break. We are still with Mr. Max Omeda. We'll continue with his story. In Teso, we have had only one rebel group, that's UPA. We had battalions, like in Serere, we had the, what we call Solar Brigade. Solar Brigade operated in Serere and some areas of Sorota, Sureta, where then we had in, 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 in Ngora, we had Alpha Brigade. Then you go to 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 Soroti. We had the uh, we had the uh, what they used to call Speedy A. That was a different group. Then you go to to Katakwi, There was an Ostrich. They interpreted those brigades to mean rebel groups, rebel groups uh, different. Yes. But those were those were all under UPA. Okay. Uh, it's like the NRA. I mean UPDF. They have people in Moroto. They have in where they have first division. They have second division in Masaka. They have first division in where they have a third division in Eastern. Would you call this one a different? They are all UPD, UPDF. Mm. Okay. So that one I want to correct. This one not a different different rebel groups, but that was one rebel group, but different brigades and battalions. Okay. Did we reconcile with the people because? After that small strike, some people felt they, they, they lost relatives. They lost one. Then now, we, the former rebels, we are there with them. Have we, recon we have reconciled? Have recon yes. We have reconciled with our people fully. Mm -hmm. If really people here were not reconciled with us, I wouldn't have kept these animals. Uh, the home is there, and these animals sleep here alone. People would drop them away. That's okay. why you see you sitting in this home. They would have burned this home because of oh, the former yeah. rebel. Oh, That's yes. the sign. To prove anybody who can debate with you and say they have not reconciled, that's a single person. But this home here would be burnt down. Because if you see homes around, there's a similar difference between this home and, and homes around. They would feel jealous that these people are the ones who killed us. Now they come here to build the homes here. But people have reconciled with us. That's why I'm not I'm really here with my children. I don't have soldiers here. Okay, what investments have you made for yourself? I am not corrupt. I have done jobs where I would have made money in this country. One, I was a marketing manager. Somebody who used to sign for coffee, which goes out of the country. In the coffee, that time, was one of the richest companies in Uganda. I would have stolen money and made myself what I mean. Then here, I have worked in different offices. I've been a minister, I've been a ward, but you can see the level of a home I have. Very local, I didn't even build it when I was a minister. Very local home. It's because if I was corrupt, investments, I don't have, what I have is on the local cows, which you, they, some people call, look like uh, bigger goats. <laughs> because our type is small, they say, those are the only type I have scattered here and there. Mm. And then a uh, few houses that I, I bought, uh, for example, you saw one when you are in Soroti. Mm. Uh, those ones are the ones which give me some little money. And then the investment I have is the land. Because some people have started fighting for land. But I have enough land that I can accommodate my children. And the children is telling me if I've educated and my the children. Education, I have the because they are not illiterate. Those ones are now good. Today he is retired, managing a football team and doing private business in farming. That's a more moral trophy. This when I beat you people, Tara Sita, is one of my late daughter, but the rest are in my office, they are trophies. I'm going to invite you. I always, every year, I play team, a county against my children. And you all. play against your children? Uh, Mama, my children okay. against the team. Another team. Another team, okay. but we always win. 
Oh, nice. I have the best players, all of them. This one plays for another team in Kampala. Nilka plays for that. Another one in Chambogo plays for that. Another one. Yeah. That's why Serra is a current champion in Uganda for the national. We are having the national trophy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it is. Uh -huh. Okay, we'll talk about the present day life. What are you doing with your life now? Because I have some local assignments mm. that government has given me. Assignments, not appoint, I'm not appointed, but assignment. assignment. I am a head of the Northern Kyoga. I, 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 I am in charge of uh, authorized officers who are law enforcement officers in the lakes in the north. So I control the districts of Ngora, Serere, Amuria, I mean Serere, uh, Soroti, Kaberemaido, Amolata. Those are the districts I, I am in charge because of me using illegal gear, illegal fishing gear. Mm. Because we don't want it. You know fish is the third or the second commodity to earn as a foreign, I mean foreign exchange. Mm. So we need to protect our legs and make sure that we get very good fish. And then also, I'm a commissioner for marketing in the UF, what I mean, Uganda Athletic Federation. I'm a commissioner there because I have a very active team in Serere, which helps in, 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 in athletics. So I'm also very busy in that one. Then of course, I, I am beginning to settle. I have a plate started coming home here to settle with my wife to plan how we can do farming because there is no any better job I can do other than me doing farming with my wife. She has been doing it single-handedly. She has been handling this home alone. She has been doing everything here alone, but she needs my reinforcement now. Mm. So we are beginning to get together and see how best we can make our home develop. Mm. As I wind up my visit, I'm privileged to be taken around to have a look at some of his achievements. Uh, then with the assistance of my children, when they see we have started something tangible, I know they will reinforce us. But they cannot now come to reinforce nothing mm. when, you are not, <laughs> when they have not seen what we are doing. Mm. They cannot. Because yeah. if I brought money from them to do what? How did you meet with your wife? My wife comes with me from the same village. And okay. she grew up there. I knew her parents. I knew how good their home is. I knew she's an orphan. And I knew, you see, when you marry somebody of your equal status, like me, I married an orphan and I'm also an orphan. When we have a misunderstanding and she starts uh, sometimes reading the book of lamentation that I wish my wife was also, I mean my mother was alive, my father, now I'm suffering. I also say I wish my father was alive. Then we all start crying. She's crying, I'm also crying. So we are balanced. Mm. That's why I You're on the same is. page. Yes, you are on the same page. <laughs> but you don't bring somebody from a different page, you suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a message to the government or the people of Teso? My message is basically on peace for the whole world. Uganda is a country that has come to say when your neighbors fight, you also run there quickly and say, please, you stop fighting. Let us understand each other. Let us give our leaders a chance to lead. When his time comes to end, because the Bible is very clear, it says everything has its own what? Time. time. So time will come. After a long journey, bumpy rides and amazing welcomes, I have exhausted all I could find for life stories in relation to the Mukura massacre and the insurgencies that happened at the time in Teso region. In our next episode, I take special time to share an experience of retired civil servants and veterans. That's all we heard from Mr. Max Omeda, a former UPA rebel leader and now senior advisor to Iteso Culture Union, Commissioner for Marketing in Uganda Athletics Federation, and also 
the head of Choga North, heading the authorized officers. Until next time, I'm Zwena Chirema. Stay blessed. <laughs>